to D3 Technologies Tech Tip. Today we're going to look at automated center lines as well as bend tables for the sheet metal environment. Uh, both drawing tools that I just don't see very many people taking advantage of. First we're going to look at automated center lines. I can right click on my view and I can go to automated center lines. It's going to bring up my dialog box where I can make choices everything from hole features to punch centers need to pick the projection, so normal axis or parallel to the view. Today we're going to leave it on normal axis. You may or may not need to select that. We'll know we've got it right when the OK is available. So my front view is selected. I say OK and Inventor automatically places nine center marks for me. Very nice. Especially handy if we have many, many holes. I'm going to go to my top view now and this time I'm going to right click on the view in my model tree. I'm going to go to the same option, automated center lines. <clears throat> this time I'm going to make sure and see that Inventor picked up. I'm looking at parallel view. I'm going to say OK. And there are my center lines across there. No duplicates for the stacked holes. Next thing I'm going to look at is an instance where I've got both parallel and projected holes in my view as I have in all three of these uh, views here. So again, I'm just going to right click, automated center lines. I'm going to make sure and, these, and select both projections in there to get holes going in both planes. And easily walk my way around my drawing. Coming in here and putting in all of my center lines that I need for my views. Next, I'm going to look at my bend notes. So, I don't see firm people taking advantage of the ability to come in here with a general table, select that flat view, and we notice it automatically switches over to a bend table. Place that in there, bend IDs, locations, angles, radiuses, the whole nine yards out there. Hope these tips help you out.